Hello, and thank you for stopping by to visit our posters on student experiences of renewable and traditional assignments. We are Lindsay Gum and Virginia Clinton LaSalle. Lindsay is with the New England Board of Higher Education, and she was in charge of the faculty development that I'll be talking about shortly. I am an associate professor at the University of North Dakota, and I led the work in the research study where we surveyed the students. So what was this all about? It was about renewable assignments. And in a renewable assignment, what the idea is that students are giving back to the world. So instead of creating something in which they only demonstrate their learning or learn from it, they're creating something that can be openly licensed and publicly shared and so others can use. Lindsay led a group of faculty who are from a variety of institutions throughout the Northeast on developing renewable assignments for their classes. And then what we did is we surveyed students to find out what did they think of these renewable assignments. So in this research, uh, we specifically were interested in using theoretical frameworks in, uh, focused on social justice and open education, uh, academic emotions such as pride and uh, anxiety, and also about perceived autonomy support. So our first question was, what was the difference between students' perceptions in terms of their motivation for renewable and traditional assignments. And we found out that overwhelmingly, students indicated they were more motivated to do renewable assignments. Renewable assignments were more interesting, they felt less pressure, they felt they had more, more choice, uh, they felt they had, were more competent, they had more pride, and they felt more related to their peers. We also were wondering how they felt about their opportunities for representational justice. Representational justice is equitable opportunities for self-expression by historically underserved and marginalized peoples and groups. Renewable assignments can be designed to give students opportunities to create materials expressing their identities. This allows for materials about groups to be created by students identifying as members of these groups. Measures, a measure for representational justice was developed for this study using items such as those seen on the screen. As you can see on this graph, students perceive notably higher levels of representational justice with renewable than traditional assignments. We were interested in what were the students' experiences with public sharing. As well, students had the option to publicly share, and we found that about 70% of them opted to share publicly and about 30% opted not to. As far as the reasons for public sharing, it was quite varied. So students said that a common one was that they wanted their work to be passed on, that it was good work. Um, they wanted it to be something that other people could use and develop. It had value. So why didn't they publicly share? There were a lot of uh, concerns about just it wasn't good enough. They didn't think that other people would appreciate it or perhaps other people would judge it or they just felt like personally it wasn't a good fit for them. So we examined differences in motivation in that renewable assignment between students who opted to publicly share and those did not. Generally, motivation levels were fairly similar. This is just looking at motivation for the renewable assignment. However, students who publicly shared reported higher levels of competence and relatedness than students who did not. This could be interpreted that students who publicly shared felt that they had the sufficient skills and knowledge to do well on the renewable assignment and likely viewed it as work, good work. In terms of relatedness, this may be due to the collaborative nature of the renewable assignment projects. Students who related well with their peers likely had more group cohesion and were better able to decide as a group to publicly share their work. 
We look to add differences in perceived representational justice for those who publicly shared and those who did not. A reminder that representational justice is equitable opportunities for self-expression by historically underserved and marginalized peoples and groups. This could be interpreted that students who felt they could express their identities well in the renewable assignment wanted to take advantage of an opportunity to share this opportunity, this experience with others. Another aspect of social justice relevant to open education is recognitive justice, which is recognition and respect for cultural differences through diversity and inclusion in course materials. A measure of recognitive justice for the materials in this course was developed and a sample of the items are shown on this slide. We'd expected that students who do not see themselves in course materials may feel uh, that their identities are not respected and may be dissuaded from sharing. However, from this graph we see is the reverse is true, with students who publicly share the materials reporting lower levels of perceived recognitive justice than students who did not publicly share. Uh, in terms of perceived levels of learning of copyright, whether or not privacy was explained and understanding the potential value of their work outside of class, students overall reported fairly high levels and there were no discernible differences between those who publicly shared and those who did not. We also asked students, anything else you wanna share with us? And overall, we had great feedback Students found it to be a positive experience. They appreciated the creativity. They may have had a little confusion at first, but then they really saw that they had an opportunity to go beyond something that would be for their own learning and really contribute to knowledge for the world. And just a little demographic background on this slide. Uh, quickly, demographic reporting was optional, so we were unable to do any uh, breakdown analyses by demographics, but this is a description of those who did report it. And if you are interested in seeing any of the materials, I encourage you to check out our website on the Open Science Framework, where we have our materials and data publicly available. Thank you.